hello friends today i want to show the special type pldc controller which is used for run the motor with the ac supply and also a dc supply the voltage of 230 volt okay it has no electronic circuits only mechanical arrangements now i am going to show the circuit diagram and how it is working okay no friends here this is the homemade pldc controller or dual dual actuator reed switch which control the motor both by using ac and dc supply it is a special type of homemade pldc controller here look at this the controller has two fixed plate top and bottom and two actuator 1 and 4 the actuator is made of thin plate and the fixed plate is thick plate okay here a small neodymium magnet is inserted in the actuator both the actuator here north and south pole okay this is the similar to the single phase pldc controller the single phase pldc controller has two main portion only driver portion and another one is sensor portion look at the picture here this is the mosfet driver portion and the sensor portion the similar function is at a, is at a, achieved in the new type of pldc controller okay here look at this the this, the actuator has small neodymium magnet this is used as a sensor and the here one switch 1 switch 2 and switch 3 switch 4 due, due to the dual actuator okay what are the special features of the pldc controller it is a special type of homemade pldc motor controller working with the ac and dc sub 230 volt supply it is directly given the ac 230 volt or dc 230 volt it has no electronic circuits okay it has four way switches s1 s2 s3 s4 like a h bridge motor driver it has two fixed copper rigid plate and two copper thin plate used as a actuator here look at this this is the thick plate fixed plate and this is the thin plate used for the actuator okay here when the when control the motor with the dc supply two actuator is used here look at this the when used the the controller is used for the dc supply both actuators are used okay when the controller used for the ac only one actuator is used okay here look at this terminal 1 and 4 is used for the motor supply and 2 3 is used for the the actuator switch is connected series with the motor winding some safety precautions adopt while run the motor with the new controller what are the safety precaution here we are using the 230 volt supply directly that's why all the terminals are so uh, tightly and insulated before start the motor connect the series lamp to check whether it is short circuit or not when the lamp is bright is the brightly glow something short circuit or if the lamp is dim the circuit is okay that's why you just ensure the circuit before going to use the 230 volt supply okay now i am going to explain the circuit diagram okay when when we use the dc supply both actuator is used that means the input here the input supply is <coughs> connected to the fixed plate and the output supply is connected to the actuator okay when the south pole coming what happens 
the first actuator move upward due to the north pole and the second actuator moves downward so the supply positive supply is move from here and here and here this is this directions okay when the rotor pulls north pole come in what happens the first actuator move downward and the second actuator move upward what happened the supply moves here and here and here the circuit is closed so the direction is changed according to the poles coming the supply was changed and the motor continuously running okay when we use the ac supply here one actuator and two fixer plates are enough that means three terminals is used one actuator is disconnected okay here the one actuator and two fixer plate is used the diode oppositely connected and the common point is taken series with the stator coil and to the circuit is closed so now when the south pole come what happened the actuator move upward what happened the supply is forward bias and the forward bias supply is given to the field coil okay when the north pole coming what happens the actuator move downward the supply is reversed so according to the pole coming the field coils energy is and the motor is going to run okay now i am going to test the motor with the ac and the dc supplies okay now i am going to explain the motor here look at this this is the single phase pl dc motor stator has four poles and the rotor is also four poles the rotor is made up of a speaker magnet the speaker magnet splitted into four quadrant and attached with oppositely okay here look at this this is a speaker magnet it was splitted into four quadrant and attached with the opposite side that's why north north south south so okay here this is the four stator pole and this is the PLC controller okay homemade PLC controller okay now i am going to test the motor with the ac and the dc supply thank you here the actuator three terminal is dummy one and four terminal is connected with the one and four terminal is connected with the two diode oppositely connected and the center point is taken to the input supply and the terminal 2 is connected with the stator winding and the other end is connected to the input supply okay here is the input supply now i am going to start the test to the motor with the ac 230 volts okay here look at this the motor is going to start Here, current hundred milliamps. The power consumption twenty nineteen watts. Okay, look at this. Rpm five hundred six forty six. Nine thousand, thousand, thousand hundred, thousand three hundred, thousand five hundred. Okay, thousand eight hundred, two thousand two hundred. Okay. Two thousand two twenty six. Current one twenty five. Voltage two thirty. Power consumption 
19 watts, 20 watts, okay. Here the motor is running with the AC supply. Hello friends, now I am going to test the motor with the DC 230 volt hair. This is the 230 volt and rectifier. Full fridge rectifier and the output is given to the 1 and 4 terminal. This is the dual actuator which control the PLDC motor both the AC and DC. Now I am connecting DC 230 volt supply. The supply is connected to the 1 and 4 terminal and the 2 and 3 terminals is the output of the motor and connected to the motor. Now I am going to switch on the motor. Okay. Here the motor is running.